This is the cross side um, assembly. All the bits have uh, been playing a lot of work on this. It's just tedious cleaning, taking all the rubbish, grease, and muck off. Um, you can hear that's the metal bits that are just falling out of the holes here. Um, th there's a bearing in here because it's an aluminium housing. It looks like just an oil, oil like bearing, but I really fail to see the point of putting a bearing in and then making the damn thing so sloppy. I'll see if I can replace that. It's just a push, uh, a little push fit. It looks like an oil white bearing. Probably isn't just a bronze or brass bearing. Um, the main shaft has been cleaned and measured. Uh, I'm going to get it on a, a coordinate measure machine to check accurately the face run out because I'm worried about uh, the fact that it's, it's clearly been dropped and it's got a couple of big welts in it. The um, bed's had a, a first coat now. Got a bit of rubbing down to do. Um, it's tricky to do because you can't do it all in one piece. You have to keep turning it over. But uh, that'll probably take a, another couple of weeks to get done. No rush. Just do bit. You've got 15 hours between coats. So basically, you put a coat on and then leave it for the next day. Um, bonded two pads, two aluminium pads in uh, to take the, the DRO scale and made sure that these are perfectly aligned and square with the surface. Well, while I'm waiting for the paint to harden on the bed, I'll have a look at this. First problem is the you drive the pin out, not a problem, but I just cannot get this off. Just absolutely solid. So I'm gonna apply a little heat and see what that does. Otherwise, there's not enough room to get anything down there to pry it off either. Um, yeah, I think a little bit of heat to start with and we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Quite horrible in there. Don't know how you get over spray on the gears inside, and it's there's a really stiff point, and then it goes, and then something's tight there. Um, we'll have to take it all apart and deburr it and see what's what. This unit slides straight out. Then you pull the circlip off um, to remove the outer housing. Don't see the point in having a bearing because it's such a loose fit in there. But that, say, just pull straight out. You'll notice there's uh, some marks on the centre of those gears. I'm not sure what they are. Well, now we know why there was oil all over the front panel. The um, little O-rings are too small and they're rock hard. So that, that's a relatively easy fix to um, replace those. That's as far as I can strip it down at the moment. Um, I can't actually work out how things come apart. Um, it seems obvious, but it just doesn't work the way I thought. So um, my circuit pliers are maybe a little too um, big for these. So I need to get another set to get into some of these. I, I can do what I need to do like this, but it's, there's, there's too many rough edges on the, the gears and sharp bits. It'd be difficult to deburr inside. So. I'd really like to take everything apart when I know how. The rest of the bits would be had a basic degrease. Um, they put this thing together with no gaskets, but with um, liquid sealant, which is fine, but it's absolutely everywhere. 
Um, so it will take quite a while to, to clean that off. A little bit of filler in there. Not that you're going to see it, it's underneath, but there's casting floors. It just makes it nice and smooth. Um, everything's been, uh, all the paint's been stripped. Really thick blobs of paint everywhere. So it's ready for priming, but before that, um, we're going to take it to my powers and put it in a, an ultrasonic cleaner to get any remaining debris out. All of the gears have been um, deburred. Uh, as much as I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I did a reasonable job given the access. It would have been easier if I had taken them out, but I didn't want to try that. That one I think would come out okay, as that one would. But this one, there's two bungs that are pressed in. I can't see any way of uh, getting those out um, easily. So I, I'm I'm happy that uh, it's it's as good as it's going to get. It's certainly better than it was. There's no sharp edges anywhere, and uh, everything rotates nice and freely. I just need to make sure that uh, there's no muck anywhere. Uh, hence the whole ultrasonic cleaning. I'll put the back panel on and I'll fill it up with oil, um, seal it all up. But everything rotates nicely. On to the next job.